Welcome back. Velvet here from Milton Today TV. I'm sitting here having a chit chat with Jeff Cantwell, owner of Insurge Incorporated. Hey, how are you doing today, Jeff? I'm doing great. Hey, thanks for inviting us over here. Not a problem. Now, you have to tell me a lot about what your business exactly does. We have some gorgeous looking tape here, so I imagine it's in the tape business. That's right. This is packaging tape, and uh, customers use it for color coding. Instead and of painting their products, they use the different colors for the note different types of products. Namely, one of the uh, distilleries in Montreal uses it for denoting whether it's a crepe de mint or a whatever the red one is. And I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I don't drink it anyway. <laughs> so who do you normally sell to? Uh, anybody who manufactures product in any way, shape, or form. Either in sub-assembly to hold a product together or to put it in a box and ship it out to a customer. And anywhere in between. Okay, so uh, I notice you have a very large room back there, mm -hmm. and what goes on back there? That's where we convert our tapes. We're a converter distributor. We bring product in in length, large rolls, long rolls. So and you get tape like this that comes in? Yes, and it rolls up to 60 inches wide. Wow. And then we cut it to whatever size the customer wants. Ah. Which gives us the versatility that you can mix and match. You don't have to buy full cases of product. You can have whatever it is you want to the size you want. Perfect. Helps, helps a lot of customers. And what kind of tape exactly do you sell? A variety of different Every kinds of tapes? there is in the marketplace. From the most mundane uh, packaging tape, masking tape, to the very exotic high bond materials that are used to hold uh, tractor trailers together. So anyone that's in the manufacturing business can get in touch yes, with you? definitely. And I see that you've won uh, quite a few awards. I've, I've done a little bit over the years. None to mention uh, Business of the Year, good old Chamber of Commerce. For 2008. 2008. Yeah, for under 25 employees, yes. That was a very uh, special moment for me. I was very surprised. I did not expect to win that in any way, shape, or form. And the alternative board? Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a men's group. Uh, actually, it's not a men's group anymore. We now have women in it. Uh, that's an advisor group. You have to be the owner of a company. Uh, and we get together and meet once a month to discuss our problems in a forum that's away from our offices and our people. And we get different opinions from other sides of the fence. How would you do? This is my problem. How would you fix it? And it helps as a sounding board because when you're a small entrepreneur, it's very difficult to make all the right decisions all the time. Right. So and how long have you been in business? Uh, this business uh, since 1989. I've been self-employed since 1966. This is my 11th business. Wow. I've been through the horn. So you have a little times. bit of experience behind I've, you. I've done an awful lot of things, yes. Yes. Good. Have you always been at this location? No. No. No, we've been here, uh, this is our eighth year in this location. I lived in, uh, live here in town. I had a plant in uh, Rexdale in Toronto for several years. And then prior to that, uh, I was... Uh, in uh, Weston. I had many, many factories in Weston. Yes. Well, thank you, Jeff, for taking the time out and speaking with us You're today. You're welcome. Velvet, again, from Milton Today TV. Thanks for joining us. Join us again soon.